Welcome everybody. We're going to do a webinar tonight and the topic tonight is thinking like a pro songwriter. And um, I got Marty Dotson here with me and I'm Clay Mills and we're going to kind of get you inside the head, get you inside the brain of um, the way that pro songwriters approach writing songs. We've done a lot of webinars on the industry and we've done a lot of webinar on the nuts and bolts of writing. We do a lot of classes on the nuts and bolts of writing, but we think just as important is what goes on, the mental attitude, the mental approach to uh, songwriting. One of our um, Songtown members actually in response to a post we did talked about um, the difference in learning to shoot pool and learning to think like a pro. Yes. Pool shooter. I don't know what you call. What are those called? A pooler. Pooler. Yeah. Pro pooler. <laughs> I think yeah, we, just, I think we got the pro pooler here today. I think we just made that up. <laughs> um, but anyway, we we think there, you know, there's a there's a big difference in learning how to write a great song, and learning how to think like a pro writer thinks right. as you write. And if you can learn to think like a pro writer thinks, then you can learn to write things that are more commercial. If that's what your goal is. You know, some people just want to write a better song and to have their song for their own enjoyment, and that's great. But if you're trying to write commercial music, one of the the last big hurdles you have to get over is that hurdle from just writing a great song to writing a great commercial song. Right. And the thing that can get you over that hurdle is learning to think like a pro. Um, so we want to start off talking about how pros think about ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you approach that? Um well, basically, first of all, I want something that's going to resonate with me and it's going to resonate with the audience. So it's got to be an idea that excites me to write, you know, and a lot of times um, we'll throw out ideas and we kind of are searching for something that's going to get us excited because I think that enthusiasm is the first thing I look for. Um, but gosh, there's so many parameters that go into how do you you know, find a commercial idea. But I, I think part of it is knowing the marketplace, the trends, all of that, but also being able to write something that's real from the heart and is going to resonate with everyone. You know, one of the things Clay does when we write is he he likes to get an idea from the conversation in the room. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he likes to say, hey, what's going on? We start talking. Um Somebody may say something that's interesting to him, and he starts playing it and singing it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, um, for me, the reason I do that is because I know it comes from a real place. So right away, what we're starting with is something that's real and just not manufactured. So um, I was trying to think of a couple examples, but I know when I sat down the first time to write with Darius Rucker... And he was like, well, what do you want to write today? And I was like, oh, man, I don't really feel like writing, which is not the thing I would <laughs> recommend saying the first time you sit down with a recording artist. <laughs> but he's like, oh, why not? And I was like, well, I broke up with my girlfriend a couple of days before, and I was second-guessing myself. And he goes, man, he goes, I do that. All-. He goes, I've done that. I-, I still think about this girl from the fifth grade. And I was like, whoa, okay. And, <laughs> and he goes, he looked at me, he goes, don't think I don't. And I was like, oh, okay. So I write that down on my pad. Um, and the next morning, you know, I kind of was thinking about, it, don't think I don't, don't think I don't think about it. And I think originally I had, don't think I don't think about her. And then I kind of changed it as we were writing. But it came from a real conversation and a, and a real place. So I know from the get go, we have something that's going to be something that's going to resonate because it's real. Yeah, and so you know his approach was is a great approach is that he is looking for something real that's going on in somebody's life because I'm assuming because that's going to be able you're going to be able to write a song that feels real feels yeah and connects to people because it's not just something you made up right and you can take that idea a number of ways it it didn't end up being about my situation the song. But since it started from a real place, it kept that emotion. And then you can take it and go in a hundred different directions from there. But it, it always, at the core, has that real emotion. Yeah. And, you know, the thing I do with ideas is I, I save ideas in a database, but I'm doing the same thing. I, you know, when I'm out, I eavesdrop on conversations at the coffee shop, and I hear someone say something that I think is really interesting and real, and I, 
um, I write that down in my database. So I'm coming in with ideas that that have been kind of stored up from real real things. Right. Um, but it's, and it's I did sort of have, the same approach. I did have um, a list of titles that I was going to write with him. And that first day, in fact, we pulled another title that I had. But it was just interesting to me that the song he ended up cutting from that weekend was the one that came out of a conversation and wasn't one that, that I had brought in. But if you're going in that situation, you always need to have a list of titles. You can't walk in and just hope something happens. Something happens. Yeah. yeah. And that, so when we write, ideally, we talk about things, an idea comes up in the conversation and we write it. But if it doesn't, then I've got this database full of things right. that I can start pulling out of. 